familiar, don't you? I'm sure we're on the right track. In April 1984, the dangerous momentum of the strike was to catch up with one Hatfield miner. Tony Clegg travelled to Warwickshire on picket duty. I was up yesterday. Bit of damage there, boys. Nothing. This is going to be long and this is going to be bloody, is this? It don't matter how long it's going to be. It don't matter how long it's going to be. You've got to stick it out, haven't you? As long as it takes. He confronted a working miner. If you think you're going in there, you're wrong. You fucking think you're doing you, you fucking sneaky bastard. If you fucking think you're going in there, you're wrong. Fuck off home. Go on. Fuck off home now. Sneaky fucking. Get the fucking sent home. I believed it 110% in what I was doing. Wait, come on! They're behind us! Run, man! Run, run! The police caught and charged Tony Clegg. Before the strike, he was a law-abiding citizen. Now, like hundreds of other miners, he had a criminal record. It would return to haunt him. Violent clashes between pickets and police were now commonplace. Passions were running high. If somebody just smacked you over the head with a trunch in one day, you often lose sight of the fact that what we're trying to do is actually win a coal mining strike. And you what you want to do is smack the bastard with a chair leg the next day. The debris of the morning backed up reports that a considerable scrap took place in the fog-shrouded woods near the pit where three men were arrested. 